This is going to be a simple, straightforward tutorial video on how to use the Coinbase wallet. There's a link down below to a video where I showed how to use the Coinbase exchange, the basic Coinbase site to sign up and purchase something like Bitcoin or any other crypto. Just a real basic step-by-step -step guide. Now we're going to talk about the Coinbase wallet and they are different. Now Coinbase.com, you can go right to the website and utilize it there, or you can download the Coinbase app, which has a, looks like a C and you can interact with the exchange. Then there's the Coinbase wallet, which is very different. It can be confusing. Coinbase wallet is a circle with a little square in it. Here's the download for the Coinbase wallet. I'll put a link for it down below. You can use that on your phone and you can also use it as an extension to Google Chrome. Now, first, before I show you the wallet itself and I'll show you how to use the wallet and I'll run through a screenshot of me using it on my phone, there's a link down below. You can subscribe to see my entire channel, these tutorial videos, as well as more detailed videos about coins and tools that you can use, etc. as you start to learn more about this. But let's talk about the Coinbase website and the Coinbase wallet. If you didn't watch the other video, I explained that I was choosing Coinbase to use as an example. It has a very easy to use user interface. It's in the United States, lots of regulations. It's been around for 12 years. It was in 2012 when they started. It is on the exchange, it's C-O-I-N, it's a public company. And the exchange is like a bank, meaning they hold your crypto and your money. The Coinbase wallet is like an actual wallet in your pocket where you have control. So that's the main difference between those two things. They're not the same. They are different. So the Coinbase website through the browser or the Coinbase app is for the exchange where you can take money from your bank account, put it on there, purchase crypto, and they hold it for you, just like Fidelity or Schwab would hold the stocks for you. That wallet, which you can use on your phone with an app, or you can use an extension, gives you much more control because they like to say your keys, your coins. What does that mean? Well, I'll explain. If you use the Coinbase app or website, you have a name and password to log in. The wallet has a password to log in, but more importantly, it has what's called the seed phrase. You'll see that when you sign up, they'll give you 12 unique words that you have to write down and keep because if you ever lose them, you won't be able to recreate your wallet. Some of the ways and reasons why you would use the wallet itself, you can see here, and I'll talk about it when you watch the screenshot, but right here, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. This is what it looks like running on your phone. You can see here, it's got a crypto tab, an NFT tab and a DeFi tab. What is that? Well, within the exchange, you would just see crypto, but here it'll list all the crypto you have on this wallet. And I should say, you can keep, for example, here's Ethereum. You can have some Ethereum on the Coinbase exchange sitting there. You can have some Ethereum here. One of the reasons you want it on your wallet is because you can use your wallet to interact with other services. You can go to other exchanges and swap for other coins. You can use DeFi apps and different types of apps, and they'll all ask to connect to your wallet. So here, you'll be able to see all the crypto you have on your wallet, NFTs, non-fungible tokens. Over here, they show just some pictures of art. It can be many different things. It doesn't have to be just art. You can have NFTs that represent physical gold. It's a whole nother story. Then you've got DeFi, but they've got essentially apps. You'll be able to click and go into all sorts of what they call decentralized applications which are other services that you can interact with or games, all sorts of things. So your wallet is much more powerful because you're keeping it in your control. And what that means is if Coinbase were to just shut down one day and say no one can access their stuff, just like if a bank were to shut down and say no one can get money out of the ATM, what are you going to do? It's stuck there. If it's on your wallet, you have control. No one can take that off your wallet unless somehow they got your passphrase. 
That's why you don't want anyone to get your passphrase. They could recreate your wallet, get in, move your money around. All right, so I wanted to point out that the exchange is within their control. It's still your assets and you own it, just like at the bank. The wallet, it's 100% within your control. It allows you to connect to other dApps and other services. And you wanna make sure that when you create it, you store that passphrase. So here's a link. I'll put a link to Coinbase Wallet down below. It says download Coinbase Wallet. And you can go ahead and download it for your Apple or your Android phone. You can get a Chrome extension and that way you can access it through your browser as well. So you can go ahead and click, for example, this is what it's going to look like on Google Play where you can download it. Here it would say download on the phone and install it. And then it'll walk you through the passphrase and whatnot that you're going to want to keep track of. So go ahead and do that. And now let me show you exactly how you can use it to purchase and to sell and to move money back from the wallet into your bank account through the app. So watch this screen tutorial. Now here's what matters the most when you're first getting started. There's the tab on the far right. It's going to list out three things as you can see at the top with the blue underline. You've got crypto, you've got NFTs if you're holding any, and then you have some DeFi. So in this case, I have some lending, borrowed, staked. You can see that I put Ethereum out there on the Aave platform. I borrowed some USDC and some Tether. Stable coins, I have videos about that, about how to debank yourself. And then Maple Finance, I'm staking some syrup. Now, the reason it shows here is because I took the crypto that was in this app, that was in this wallet, I connected to those platforms, and I supplied it. This is what you need to know, the crypto link. You can see buy, swap, or cash out. It'll show you each coin, how much you have. And if you notice here, it says all networks, and you can pick networks. So see these little icons next to Ethereum or next to Base or Polygon? Those little icons are telling you which of those networks they're on. So when it shows all, it puts the little circle next to it. This first one, Ave, is on the Ethereum network. The next one, Mantra, I have on base. Then I have Aerodrome on base. Notice if you scroll down here, I actually have Wormhole twice because it's on. A th I have some on Ethereum and I have some on base. Okay, so this just lists out everything you've purchased. Yours might be empty. So what you can do is you can buy. You're going to see at the top, you can say, how much do I want to buy? So maybe I want to buy $200 worth. And as we scroll down, you pick your network. You can choose base, Ethereum. You can see all the different networks you can purchase on. Ethereum can be quite expensive. Base is actually what they call a layer two, which is built on top of Ethereum. It's much cheaper. It's owned and operated by Coinbase. So in this wallet, I like to purchase on base. And you can see here it's saying, I'm going to buy Ethereum. Now you can change that. You can click the Ethereum and you can look at all the different assets that you can purchase on the base. Or you can simply search for one. Or let's just go ahead. Well, look at the one I had. I had Wormhole. You type it in. You see it's there. Click it. Now it says I'm buying Wormhole. And it says, how am I going to purchase? Using Coinbase. So you can pick purchase methods. I've got USD balance. It says up to $13 on Coinbase. Now what this means is you can see an error message at the top. It says, hey, you don't have enough on Coinbase. Enough USD. So what I would have to do is go onto Coinbase, deposit some money into the USD account. And then when I come back here, I can go ahead and purchase this. Right now I can only get $13 worth. I guess that's all I have in USD. So let's go back. Now swap is interesting. What you can do, for example, if I scroll down here, I thought I had some, but you can have, let's say, USDC right here. You could have moved it from your Coinbase account over to this Coinbase wallet. And then what you would do is you could go to swap and you would say, hey, I want to swap whatever it may be. In this case, let's just say I wanted to swap mantra, mantra for Maybe some, I could say USDC, which is essentially selling it, right? Because USDC is a stable coin. So in this case, the swap would act as a sale. 
I can say, well, how much do I want to sell? Well, I've got 4,000 worth of mantra. I could say $100. It'll say, oh, you'll sell 27.4 mantra to get you 100 bucks, And we'll put it in your USDC. Now, for me, that would essentially be, since USDC is a stable coin, the same as selling it. So you can swap one coin for another. For example, that Ethereum over to, let's say, Pepe, if you like meme coins. I'm not into them, but I have a little bit. So you could swap one for the other, or you could just swap it for a stable coin. So you can buy, you can swap, and you're basically using swap as a sale. You can cash out. And it says here, if you can see, it says, oh, you're going to sell for what are you going to sell? I happen to be on Arrow. I can change which one of these I want to get rid of. It has to be one that I own, of course. And then I'm going to deposit it. In this case, it's going to go to my checking account. So that's how I can immediately get money out of the wallet into fiat, my USD currency, and into my checking account. So I have some on the exchange and I have some in this wallet. And then when I go to other websites like Aave or whatever it may be, I can connect this wallet and I can interact. That's one of the main values of this wallet. One, I control everything. They're my keys. It's in my custody. And two, I can now interact with all these different D apps, whether through this wallet or through websites. All right, so hopefully that was helpful and it walked you through exactly how to use the wallet. If you watch the other video about the exchange and you watch this video, you'll know the difference between the exchange and the wallet because it can seem a little confusing until you get the hang of it. Also on the school community that I have, there's a link down below. I have all sorts of courses to get you started as well as analysis of coins. And I have additional videos related to this one where it'll show you how to use that wallet and how to connect it to services like Aave, which is a lending platform, borrowing and lending, and also, or hook it up to an exchange. You might've heard of ones like Uniswap and others. I show that as well. There's a link below to the school community so you can take a look at that. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. I do hope you subscribe so you can see all the videos I have about various coins as well as tips and tools. Thanks for watching. And I always like to say, hope we can all make generational wealth together with crypto. Have a great day.